Hello there my friends, today I'm here with another thrift haul. This time it's going to be very summery and I am so excited to show you everything. I think I'm going to start with a couple of things I brought from Kansas City, in case if you missed my vlog. And the first thing is actually this hat. It is vintage and I found it in an antique store. You can witness this particular moment in my vlog. I think this antique store was called River Market or something like that and it's incredible. It has freaking four floors. I had only 20 minutes to be there and look through everything. So I really wanted to find a black hat and I saw this one, tried it on. It was like $20 but I think it's a great price for a vintage hat in a perfect condition. Another thing I found in that antique store are these adorable brooches they were just five dollars and i couldn't believe it this is a couple of silver deer supposedly they are also vintage i love everything deer i love everything silver so i could not leave this behind and i can't wait to put them on something i also went to a couple of thrift stores in kansas city well technically overland park there is a thrift store which is called blessings abound and i found some cute stuff there again i haven't had a lot of time to look through things i found this really Really cute gingham shirt I think my camera is driving crazy seeing this pattern and this gingham actually has adorable little white flowers all over it the material is really really nice it's very high quality I'm usually wearing it either tucked in or tied on the bottom as soon as I saw it I was like I have to have this in my wardrobe I also found a pretty vintage dress in there this brown long dress with white polka dots on it I thought it was very cute and is actually very flattering it came with this belt that makes it even more flattering and yeah I think it's perfect for summer I already wore it a couple of times I really like it the third thing I found there was this off-the-shoulder top you might have seen me wearing this in my home decor thrift haul it's kind of big on me but I was in love with these ruffles and with these colors, so I couldn't leave it behind. I think it looks so cute and it's perfect for summer. Yeah, I'm gonna be saying perfect for summer all video right now, because everything is very summery. I'm actually going to call this video my summer must-haves, all the things I found. I cannot see my summer without them. <laughs> okay, so now everything else is going to be from Arks Valley Village. So as I promised you in my last thrift haul, I'm showing you another straw bag and this is actually my most favorite straw bag just look at it I'm pretty sure it's vintage it has this brown belt with silver buckle and this beautiful braided brown handles it has plenty of space which is very nice because I love having some extra things with me in summer like bottle of water mist for your face everything refreshing and I actually found really cute sandals that fit this bag so very well these are these Kohlhan genuine leather sandals I love them so much they're so pretty they're basically in a perfect condition but they're just tiny little bit tight on me and I'm not sure if I'm going to push through it or if I'm going to find somebody who is going to be able to wear them without any discomfort if you really like them and if you would want to buy them from me tell me down below but I might still try and wear them myself if nobody wants them <laughs> I found some really nice staple pieces like for example this top I'm not sure if you will be able to see the texture on camera but I call it my waffle top it has this really interesting texture the material is kind of silky, it's very flowy and light, which I like very much. Because it is such a cream color, it fits perfectly basically everything I wear. It is pretty short, so it's kind of like a crop top, I suppose. I just tuck it in skirts and pants, and it looks amazing. I'm not sure what brand it is because the tag was cut off. It could be even Forever 21, I don't know. Talking about Forever 21, I usually don't shop there, but if I find something cute in a thrift store by this brand I would get it and this dress is a living proof to that it is a very short kind of baby doll dress you will see a try on clip here because no, I don't want to stand up right now <laughs> it has like t-shirt sleeves this floral pattern actually reminds me of some like national art in Russia I'm not sure how to describe what I mean but we have like different scarves that have this kind of like flowers and birds going on and so this dress is like super girly but I just love combining it with heavy combat boots and with this hat and with a bunch of layered necklaces it was definitely my most favorite outfit in last like month the material is like very light and flowy I don't know for Forever 21 I think this dress is pretty nice quality and I'm 
I'm really happy I found it. I also found another dress and it's actually vintage and it is so freaking beautiful. It is this ivory cream color with a bunch of flowers which I think are roses or peonies, I'm not sure. Maybe it's actually 100% silk, I'm just going to double check. No, it's not, but it does feel like silk for sure. It has amazing neckline that's very flattering. The only thing that it is really, really short, so short that I kind of feel uncomfortable almost, but I found a solution to that and I was actually wearing it with over-the-knee socks and with a long cardigan. It was kind of balanced out by those things. I wore it to the date night, my husband just loved it. I think it's a success. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about me, but I think I mentioned before, I really like palazzo pants or just like really wide and comfy pants. So I found this like really, really nice and flowy pants. These are not pajama pants. I'm pretty sure they're not because they were not even in pajama section and the material feels pretty thick. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to wear them outside and if you're not supposed to, I don't really care. So this is this beautiful navy color with a bunch of tiny chamomiles. Oh wait, daisies, daisies. A bunch of tiny daisies on them. They're like so soft. I just feel like I'm wearing a huge cloud on my legs. Yeah, they're probably not my size. I use this lace and tie them on my waist. I like them a lot and I wear them on like lazy Sundays to go to farmer's market, stuff like that. The next thing is another one of my obsessions. Just found the blouse of my dreams, like literally. Look how gorgeous it is. This blouse is olive color. It has this amazing ruffles. It is originally from H&M. It was brand new with the tag and it was originally around $30 I think and I paid $6 for it. This is how it looks on the back. The sleeves are kind of long and it does look kind of oversized but it's just because it's one or two sizes bigger than me. I love it so much. I wore it already with Topshop jeans that I found at the thrift store the same day. I just realized that I haven't brought them here right now but they're very simple, just dark green shortcut skinny jeans. It's my most favorite outfit I think. Uh, well, it competes with this dress, I suppose. And yeah, if you want to keep up with like outfits that I'm creating, you should definitely subscribe to my Instagram because I don't always have time to film lookbooks. I also found this vintage looking beige shirt. I really liked this embroidered details that it has. And I usually don't like shirts with uh, short sleeves like that, but I thought it looked really cute, especially when you tie it at the bottom. I think it looks nice with the high-waisted shorts that I have. So I decided to show you it, even though it's not like the most gorgeous find ever or something. <laughs> so now we're moving to the finds from my last thrift store trip. I will start with like least exciting thing. This is just like very simple slim boyfriend jeans, but I really like that they are not black, they're dark gray color. This denim is very very soft. I just love the way it feels. I was really happy to find them. The brand is called Buffalo. I'm not sure what is this brand and where it comes from and it was with 50% discount so I pretty much got it for like three dollars. I'm pretty much saving the best till the end. Do not leave this video. The next thing I'm going to show you is probably very weird and tacky for somebody. I decided that I want to get it and try to style it. This is this really long robe that I actually found in nightwear gowns section and I just fell in love with this pattern and these colors. It is so beautiful, so floral. <laughs> I had a vision when I saw this robe and I thought that denim like jeans or shorts with this color of wash will look great with this. I can see myself wearing this kind of outfit to the beach and it's not like I'm going to the beach a lot. I'm like living in Minnesota. Our beaches are at the lakes and not like Miami Beach. I've got this cute cropped shirt. I'm not sure why. That's basically me in like one sentence. I wanted to have this shirt that I can wear a cute bralette underneath. This is not exactly what I was looking for. It's definitely very summery. Nice piece to have, I think. I also got this like super boring thing, but I couldn't leave it behind and you will see why. This is just this loft gray t-shirt that says dearest friend. You know I love deer. It 
has brand new tag on so i suppose it was never even worn nice to have an extra shirt in my collection especially when it is connected to deer somehow this is just very like lightweight brown shirt with short sleeves it is originally from United Colors of Benetton. I love this brand for sure. I don't think I've ever seen this brand in the thrift stores of America, but I've seen them in thrift stores in Russia before. And when I found this, I was like, I need to have this. It's so pretty. For whatever reason, the word that comes to mind is like Hawaiian shirt. It is not Hawaiian shirt, but it does have this kind of like starfish pattern going on. Maybe it is not a starfish, maybe I'm inventing things. I found such an adorable pants. For whatever reason, these pants were tagged as a very small size. And I was like, really? Should I trust this? You just always have to try things on when you're in the thrift store, especially if your gut tells you. I love the colors and the pattern. They look basically brand new and they came from Italy. I'm pretty sure this is like, no, they didn't come from Italy. What? It says that they're made in the Philippines. Because of the name, I thought that they're like designer brand from Italy, Cartonier, something like this. It doesn't matter for me, honestly. I just get this vibe from them, that's it. I love this bag and it is so flattering for your booty. I'm so genuinely happy that I tried them on. It was such a good idea. <laughs> I found a really cute vintage leather bag, which looks like this. It is from Dominican Republic, it smells like an old leather and it is in great condition, like top-notch condition. I'm not sure how to call it properly, but I would think that this is a tote. I am able to like hang it on my shoulder, it is big enough to just throw a bunch of stuff in. It was kind of pricey, I'm pretty sure it was $10 and a half, which is technically a lot for a thrifted bag, but it's not that much for a real leather bag, honestly. I remember paying $11 for a couch bag in Savers before, so I've definitely done that before and I'm going to do it again. I also have this beautiful tooled belt, which I just couldn't leave it behind, even though it's pretty small. I'm happy that I grabbed this belt, and I will definitely invent something to do with it. The next thing is like my most favorite find recently. I honestly love all the things I just showed you so much, but this stuff is always so hard to find that I am obsessed. I got this super super cute general leather mules. They have this square heel they have a square toe as well which I wasn't sure how it will look on me but it does look so cool they're super stylish they are also very comfortable brand is called Montego Bay Club I don't know even what it is I have so many outfit ideas that I want to include them in you will definitely see them again a lot I'm sure if I'm gonna make a lookbook they're gonna be in there you will see them on my Instagram photos I'm really sorry I had to go and clean my memory card so it's it's kind of darker right now. I almost forgot about this super weird thing I found. Probably 99% of you are able to tell right away that this is an ice bucket. <laughs> For me it wasn't an ice bucket. For me it is never just an ice bucket. I just really wanted a bag with this shape and I really like the pattern that it has. It's very soft. I thought that I will be able to get the actual bucket out of it. I am pretty sure I cannot remove it from there. You can probably tell me in the comments. Would you think I am crazy if I would be wearing this outside, like where people are? Is this normal or are we not there yet in the fashion sense? Like we do wear sleep dresses outdoors. Can we wear ice buckets with them? The last couple of things I call my husband is too late picking me up. I got some extra stuff, which I still love a lot, but it is definitely extra. I usually do not look through those things. Well, I got myself a mug. I did not need another mug, but this is the mug I'm wear wearing. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing this mug. This is the mug I'm using every single day right now. The dollar well spent. It is so big, like it's literally a size of my head. This mug definitely helps me reach my daily water goal. 
my daily coffee goal, all goals. These two books, first one is just a really nice cookbook. We have a lot of cookbooks already, but we are always out of recipes. It's basically like wardrobe and clothes, and you're like, what am I going to wear? With cookbooks, it's the same. You have like 10 cookbooks, and you're like, what am I going to cook? This is a healthy cookbook, which is very fitting for me right now, because I'm trying to eat more healthy, I'm counting my calories. This book has all nutrition stuff for every single meal. It does have like 5,000 pictures for every single recipe. And I also found this book, which I was really excited about. I'm not sure why, but I was just like, yay! This is a book by Cameron Diaz, and I never thought I'm gonna buy her book. Not that I don't like her, I definitely do like her. She actually played in my most favorite movie, which is called Vanilla Sky. She is definitely a great woman. <laughs> I like her as an extras for sure. I don't know what kind of woman she is. She did write this book, which is called The Body Book, The Law of Hunger, The Science of Strength, and Other Ways to Love Your Amazing Body. I thought that this is very fitting for what I am experiencing right now and what I'm trying to improve in myself. I decided to read what she has to tell. I think it's a mix of body confidence and what to do to actually improve your body and the way you feel. I'm going to read it and tell you what I think. Tell me in the comments down below what was your favorite thing from the things I found. Don't forget to leave likes, click subscribe button if you haven't already. I love you guys so very much. I'm going to see you very soon. Thank you so very much for watching. I feel great after talking to you. Bye!